Hi, I'm Betty. Welcome to my kitchen. On our recent trip to England, to the village of Kirby Fleetham, we were so pleased to be invited for afternoon tea um, to the home of a friend of my cousin's. Val put out a beautiful spread for us, and part of that included these wonderful almond macaroon cookies. So not only was the tea delicious, but Val very kindly shared her recipe with me. And I'm going to make those for you now. The ingredients that I have already here are two egg whites, I have a cup and a half of ground almonds. If you find any lumps uh, when you take your ground almonds out of the bag, it's a good idea to put them through a sieve. You don't want any lumps in these, uh, in these lovely cookies. And I have a scant cup of sugar. Uh, it's a cup of sugar minus about two tablespoons. The other ingredients are a teaspoon of cornstarch and about a half teaspoon of almond extract. And I have ready for decorating the cookies some sliced almonds or some glacéed cherries. So here we go with this very easy to make recipe. First of all, I'm going to whisk these egg whites until they reach the soft peak stage. You know that your egg whites are at the soft peak stage when you just pick them up. Well, these actually are a little stiffer, um, but they'll be just fine. The soft peak stage, they don't need to, uh, to stand up, obviously, in really stiff peaks. So all that remains now is to add our other ingredients, which we're going to fold in. There goes the almond meal, our flour, our sugar, a teaspoon of cornstarch, and the half teaspoon of almond extract, just to give it that little extra almond kick. And we're just going to carefully fold all these ingredients together. It's not like uh, uh, folding a souffle. We don't have to worry too much about that. Just want to get these combined. And it's quite a stiff mixture. And there we have it. Now all that remains is to scoop this out onto a parchment lined cookie sheet. And I've got a scoop. It's about um, a little less than two tablespoons, I'd say. And I like to use a scoop for this kind of cookie because it gives me a nice uniform uh, cookie, which looks so nice when you put them out on, the, on, a, uh, on a serving dish. And we'll just scoop these out. They're going to flatten out a little bit, but, but not a great deal. As you can see, this recipe will make 16 cookies. Now to finish them off, you can top them with a glacé cherry, just pressing it in very lightly. Or if you prefer, just take a couple of sliced almonds and tuck those in the top. We'll finish decorating these and pop them in the oven, which has been preheated to 350 degrees. And we'll check them at about 12 minutes. They should be just lightly browned. And here comes the last cookie to be decorated. And into the oven they go. And I'll set my timer for 12 minutes and check them at that point. See if they're done. They look just perfect. 
So thanks once again to Val for a wonderful afternoon tea and for sharing her recipe for these lovely almond macaroon cookies. Incidentally, if you happen to have a friend who is gluten intolerant, these are a great uh, cookie to serve them. So look for more afternoon tea recipes coming up soon.